Hello everyone, I'm Mora, the Les Black Unicorn from CoinInfo News and today we are here with a very special guest, Jessica Contreras, the CEO of Athlet and Sam. Hi, how's everyone doing? Welcome to our show, people. Jessica, Thank you. how did you have the idea to start Athlet? Uh, so I had the idea to start Athlet. Um, it really started with a, a real business. And um, I'm a fully licensed U.S. importer and exporter. And uh, this all started with my grandmother. Now, um, my grandmother, she used to make uh, what we consider Mexican moonshine. And um, she used to make this out of her ranch in Mexico. And when I was a little girl, when I would have my school summer breaks, I would go visit her at her ranch and I would help her sell this to the locals. Um, so I was introduced to the alcohol industry at a very young age, and um, it's really how this all came about, how I, how I started this business and how Agri came about as well. Oh, that's a really interesting story. <clears throat> so Thank you. Uh, why exactly did you choose to do this entire project in the alcohol industry? Is it because of your grandmother? Um, well, yeah, she has a lot to do with it because because of her, I was, you know, exposed to the industry um, and I was able to see that alcohol sells in the good times and it sells in the bad times. It sells uh, no matter what. Um, so basically, to for us in utilizing the tokens, um, it will cut down on the payment processing times it could be done within minutes with the tokens rather than for it to be 30 to 90 days, which is um, a huge inconvenience for us. Um, also, right now, I have a seven-person team of liquor reps, and they have to go out to the establishments to fulfill orders, check on promotional items, check to see how many bottles are left. Um, with blockchain, we can actually go ahead and see uh, what they have, what the retailers have, and it would cut back on so much money for us and time. Also, we would no longer need these liquor reps. We can just view it all, you know, using blockchain. Wow, that's amazing. How is the ICO yeah. going so far? Sean, um, he actually, he smashed through um, the soft cap. Uh, oh, now we... <laughs> we have 35 million tokens sold. Um, so that's pretty amazing. That indeed is truly amazing, congrats. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so uh, to help our viewers understand better, what exactly is Aslit and what makes it different from other projects? Sean, do you want me to answer that? Well, um, I, I, I can get that. Um, and it's quite different from other projects. It, it, Acolyte is basically um, a few things. It's, it's, it's a tequila company, but it's also um, you know, a payments processor and uh, you know, a, a blockchain technology at that. And you know, the, the beautiful thing about, about Acolyte is the wallet. <laughs> All its ability to keep um, alcohol out of the hands of miners when it comes to purchasing and home delivery. Um, the, the scalability of Acklet is, is um, the sky's the limit. You know, you know stopping. And you know, I, I believe that it'll uh, streamline the, the industry, not just the tequila industry, but the whole alcohol industry. Um, it'll be a model that you know, I believe will be used worldwide. And I think it's, a, it's a great project. You know, aside, aside from the logistical you know, standpoint and being able to monitor and always you know, be able to keep track of you know, your product and you know in real time that's just amazing and and back to the payments you know processor you know no, no small business can can sustain 90 days without getting a payment it just it's unheard of so it puts small businesses out of business and it turns everything over to the giant there's <coughs> quality there and with with with, with, with different um, types of people which are high high quality um, you know, you want to be able to have the best of the best, and, and this allows for that to happen, and it also allows for Acolyte to scale out and 
you know, get this awesome tequila everywhere into the hands of adults only, <laughs> not minors. <laughs> I see. And uh, what are the most important milestones of this project? <clears throat> so I can go ahead and um, tell you a few. Um, so some of the most important milestones of this project would be uh, surpassing the soft cap, which thankfully we've already done. Um, it would be also exchange partnerships. Um, we have in the future uh, to do a NASDAQ appearance. and. Um, also um, involving you know industry participants within this project um, so we do have a few milestones thankfully we've already you know surpassed some of them and uh, we have a, a lot more ahead of us but we're you know very determined we have a great team and I know that we'll, we'll be reaching our milestones very soon oh that's really great. impressive congrats we have a great team yeah. that is we have Barbara Bickham we have Kai Shepard, I would say, they're the best people. Great team, awesome team. <laughs> yeah, for sure. How about the token? <laughs> what can you tell us about the token? Um, so when it comes to the token, um, so to describe this in, in a good way, uh, basically the token side is automated uh, within a transaction. Um, the token is for our use within this $26 billion um, wholesale alcohol wholesale market. And it's for the uh, transactions of payment processing. Um, so how we are going to utilize the token is, for example, with these retailers. Uh, right now, they're paying using checks or FinTech. Um, with FinTech, it takes up to seven business for a new account to get established with a distributor and if we're if we utilize the token it'll cut back on that time so much it would just be extremely helpful and um, also with the consumer side there's a lot there's a, a market right now that is really growing which is the um, the market of where they're starting to deliver alcohol to people's homes now that's where we can go ahead and start utilizing the token as well. It would be for the consumer to go ahead and let's say they purchase a bottle of tequila, then they would go ahead and make the purchase using their wallet and it would automatically convert the to their, their monies into tokens so that they can go ahead and be utilizing um, active. So that's one way that, that we plan on, on using the token and how that works. Oh, this is really inventive. <laughs> yeah, thank you. How about the team behind the project? Your team seems pretty strong because you already accomplished so many uh, milestones. What can you tell us about the people behind Aslid? <clears throat> Sean, do you want to tell her about the team? Go ahead, Jessica. Uh, okay, so um, with the team, we do have Barbara. Um, she's an ICO bench expert. We have Shai, and uh, we also have Jose, who is also um, an ICO advisor. And, um, you know, as Sean mentioned before, we have a, a very great team, people who are very committed and passionate about this, um, passionate about the project, and that have a lot of experience as well. Um, the whole team we do have listed on our website, which is aclid.com, A-C-L-Y-D.com. And, um, I mean, there's, we have so many people working with us, and uh, we are, you know, looking to bring on anybody else that can definitely, you know, add to the team. So it is definitely something that, a team that's going to be growing here. Oh, a really great team. How yeah. What strategic partnerships are you planning to close for the development of Aslid? Okay, so alcohol-wise, um, we have, for example, Sabaka. Sabaka is um, a distribution company, and we currently partner with them, and um, they allow us to expand into 33 states, um, which is huge for us because they actually they've gone through and they you know, obtain the permits that are needed and everything else. Um, 
Also, we have Casa Maestri, and they're in Mexico. Um, they're our manufacturing partner, and they allow us the opportunity to expand and to reach into partnering brands. And that goes into sales of six million, yeah, six million dollars plus, which is huge. Um, once again, the the alcohol industry here in the United States alone is is twenty six billion dollars. That's huge. So for us to you know branch out and work with our wholesale partner, work with our manufacturing partner. Those are great ways for us to, you know, build those strategic partnerships that we need so that as a company we can go ahead and grow. And then also Tres de Lunas, which is the name of the tequila that we have here in the Arizona market right now, 13 Tequila. Um, we have distribution within four markets in Europe, which is something that we're definitely working on and working on expanding very soon here. Wow, this is really big. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's something that I've been working on for a very, very long time. And um, it's really good to see it actually, you know, to see when you have a plan, when you have an idea, and to actually see it live and to see it in motion. Um, and to see it this big, it's just, it's, I have like no words to even describe it. Yes, it's truly big indeed. Congratulations. That's uh, really Thanks. impressive what you've done. How about the future? What are the future plans of Aslid? Um, so some of the future plans that we have for Aslid um, could be, you know, for us to go into like a government identity verification, um, becoming like either primary or secondary form of ID. And really the way that that works is basically when a person sets up their wallet, they are required to take a picture um, of their face with their ID right next to their face and once they have that wallet established then that belongs to them of course so it would basically be um, you know like a, a form of ID so that's one of the, the plans one of the future plans that we have for the future something that we would definitely you know love to, to put into place um, and maybe even have it be something where if people are trying to purchase tobacco or if they're trying to pick up like a prescription from the store that they need to show ID for, um, anything like that, you know, have them be able to use Aclip to verify their identity. Um, and then basically also what, what we've thought about is having it be <clears throat> like um, used for cross-border transactions. Um, Mexico and the U.S. alone, this is just an example, um, Mexico and U.S. alone have, and it's crazy because it's $26 billion, um, so, in transactions, cross-border transactions. So this is something that we definitely want to take advantage of and, you know, be, be a part of this. So it's, it's, it's in the future, something that we plan on doing and something that we're definitely going to be working towards. I see. So basically, you are taking the entire industry to the whole new level. Oh, for sure. We're, we're definitely doing our best to do that, yeah. That's truly impressive. Congratulations for all that you've done. Congratulations for reaching your soft gap. That's truly amazing. Yes, thank you so much. And I'm truly looking forward to see more of this project in the future because I'm truly, exciting, uh, I'm truly excited after hearing all these amazing facts. Yes, thank you so much, and thank you for having us today, and um, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Shen. Everyone, this was all for today about Aslid. You can find out more on their website. The link is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and see you again in the next video. Bye.